what is happening every cunt? I'm the gyro captain, this is a gyro dome, and today I'm coming at you with some fucking Prince of Persia Sands of Time. Um, and that's what's next up in the docket, I think I'd mentioned it before, um, that that was next up after I finished Sekiro, which I've done, technically. I did say I was going to do New Game Plus in Sekiro, so I could show you all the Shura ending, and also so I could do the Gauntlets of Strength, but, um, but I can't really be asked with that the now, so I've finished Sekiro, my main playthrough, I might be back for the New Game Plus, we'll see, but the main thing is, is that I just kind of really wanted to play this, um, and this is the next full playthrough that we're going to have on the channel. So I strap your cell in, folks. I don't know what this content's going to be like, but I absolutely fucking adore this game series, especially the free, the free PS2 ones. Might have been on the Xbox as well. I'm not sure, but the free PS2, PS2 trilogy. It's just so fucking good. Um, they're all great. In my opinion, this is the second best. They've all got different vibes as well. Like they're all the same story and have a similar yet different vibe. It's really well done. In my opinion, this is the. I love the vibe of this one, but this is my second favorite. Uh, Warrior within my favorite. Just so fucking like just takes the story to new levels. So gritty, so violent, so just fucking class. Top class game. And then my least favourite is Two Thrones, which is a great game, it really is, it's just not, in my opinion, not quite as good as these games. So anyway, <coughs> um, <coughs> absolutely fucking adored uh, Prince of Persia when I was a wee guy, and I've played it again since on my PS2 and stuff like that, I think probably about four years ago now or something like that. So it's not been, it's not going to be my first time playing since I was a wee guy. But I've only just recently found out that they're on Steam, and <coughs> sorry, um, and that's made it obviously so much easier for me to get this done. And not only that, I think it's just perfect for this for streaming. I think the nostalgia combined with the shortness of the story of each game of the whole thing means that I. Um, means that I, it's a, sorry, it means that it's a perfect game to do a playthrough of, uh, a recording of for YouTube because it's, it's going to be over quick and that's what I'm trying to do, I try to, recently I've been trying to pick kind of linear games that I can get done quite quickly so that I can have these posted over the course of a few months and then move on to the next game so there's more and more content for the channel. So anyway, let's get fucking to it. As you can see, already created a profile, Hashman Dan. <coughs> and I've also had great difficulty getting this set up. Uh, the first thing that was an issue was the resolution, which was going to be coming up too small. So I had to... I'm not... I'm... See, the thing is, I, I, my memory is so fucking shockingly bad that, like, I do not remember anything that I read mostly if I just read it for the first time so I can't even tell you like what folder I had to go in eh? but it's what or whatever but I'm usually fairly good at actually just following the instructions straight up and it's kind of how you mod most games obviously so you just went in and changed the resolution for it that's fine so that got fixed and I had to fix another thing with the with the fog and also with the, the HUD potentially or the UI potentially being off screen with a new resolution so I had to get that fixed then the, the Xbox controller that I want to use because I don't really want to use a keyboard for this. Uh, I played it in the PS2, but I'm fine as long as it's any kind of controller. Um, that was just a pain in the arse to map, and anybody that's played this on sorry on the PC might already have ran into this uh, issue where. There's quite significant dead zones at all corners of the left analog stick. So when you try to run diagonally, you pretty much only walk, which is fucking 
pretty game breaking to be honest. I mean, it's not, you could still get it done, but that would annoy the fucking life at me. So I had to go through a whole rigmarole to get that fixed, but. And then also had to map each individual, uh, map each individual button uh, and control. Um, which, I mean, all in, I've done, I've, I've had to do more, you know, to get games sorted. That's one of the one of the main drawbacks of the PC, I would say. Do you know what I mean? Like, unless you're playing a brand new game, which I'm usually not on the PC, it's not what I've got it for. Um, or you're playing just some ad exclusively PC game that that is without a keyboard, you've got no issue with that. Um, if you're trying to play something that's a bit maybe a bit older, a bit different, or you're trying to mod it at all, there usually there tends to be just quite a lot of shit you need to go through to get it rigged up. And overall, this was a bit of modded amount of shit to get this set up. Um, I've had more annoying setups than this, um, namely with Fallout games. But anyway, we're fucking good to go, so let's jump in. Uh, that was the moral of all that, is that I've already fucking prepared, so let's get fucking to it. <laughs> <laughs> 